everyone, and welcome back to episode 22 of my Let's Play. And in this episode today, we are going to build a really, really cool contraption. I'm not going to quite say what it is yet, you can probably tell from the title. But I do need tons of packed dice, and I have been here for probably a good 40 to an hour, 40, 45 minutes to an hour. Let me just show you what I've got, and then I'm going to meet you back in the base, so you don't have to watch me walk the huge tunnel that I made back. So let's see, let me show you what I've got. All this. So this right here is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I'm looking at my 18th stack. So I'm going to finish off my 18th stack here, and then I will meet you back in the base. So I have installed a spider sorter in. So let's wait till this water is going. And yes, it was unpeaceful, so I, mobs went flying on my head as I was spawning. I didn't like being unpeaceful, but at that point I kind of thought it was a good reason because all my ice would melt if I didn't. So let's see how she works. If she's actually going to spawn. Zombie, creeper, spider. See how it sweats them out? Creeper, zombie, zombie. Zombie, zombie, creeper. And the spider gets sweat out there. That's actually pretty awesome. I, I didn't think it worked that well. So there we go. I finally figured something out with spiders after a long while. That was ridiculous. But wow, yeah, this is doing pretty awesome. Oh man. I need to figure out a way to kill these spiders instead of just drop them off in the void, even though it's kind of funny, but you know. Yeah, not in the void, but just drop them off, you know what I mean. Look. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, there's an. Oh, a skeleton went over. Ah, yeah, it's fine. Because so many of them fall down through here. I mean, just one that that goes over, I mean, doesn't make that much of a difference. But, I suppose I should head up there and kind of explain to you what's happening as it's spawning. So let's, I just dug this platform down, too. That's funny. But anyway, let's head up. Up we go. I didn't see I, I was lazy enough to sign it. Okay, anyway. So they're tracking me through, through the glass right now. Because how it works is the spiders go over here, and see as, as you can see, but then the mobs go and fall down there, or they fall down there and there. So let's see. Okay, here comes some stuff. The skeleton was the one that, there's one hole right there that, that if you fall down, I mean, you're done, basically. As, as you can see, the creeper's actually right there in that hole. And they're not spawning anymore because I'm up here. Anyway, so as you can see, mobs go and they get pushed with the two wide and they go over if the one wide and they don't. Let me head back down. Alright, I have one more thing I want to do this episode. And then I will be back with that when I'm ready. And I'm back and I went ahead and did this. Now this could go disastrous or this could be very nice. We'll see. What should happen is when I place the TNT here, and go like this, and then I back up, and then XP galore. Boom! XP, XP galore, yep, so it works beautifully. And I just stand here and get tons of XP, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to do this for a little while. Oh, this is awesome, I'm loving it. And then we'll head back and answer a question for episode 22. That's awesome, and then look, so then they all have all kind of refilled from that point, so then I can just, if I can get it, there we go, and then light it, but there's an in, in, in my way, there we go, and then back up, like that, and probably these chests are overwhelmed over here, 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 let's go take a look, eh, it's filling, actually it's not, I, I'll have to go around and see what's 
what is happening with that. But we'll go, I'm going to do this for a little while, and then we will answer a question. Okay, today I'm here at the question board. As you can see, I got 50 levels there, just from, you know, having fun with that. And that's pretty awesome. But here we go. If you want to read the question board, pause the video, and I encourage you to answer these questions in the comment below, the comment section below. Looks like I forgot a question mark on the one farthest to the left. But anyway, I'm going to answer the one today is, what's your favorite color? And mine is red, yellow, or purple. I mean, either any one of those I, I consider my favorite. So I'd like, to, I'd like to know your favorite color down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the long episode, please leave a like. I've gotten a few uh, requests for 20-minute episodes at least, so there you go. And, and if you enjoyed the episode overall, just please leave a like, a comment, even subscribe. And, please, and thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye. Alright, I'm back in the cave. We got some more stuff together, as you can see. I have, looks like, 18 stacks of um, packed ice, 20 stacks of stone, and 7 stacks of glass, plus a little miscellaneous stuff down here. But now what we need to do is we need to... Got some obsidian. And we need to go find a cool location. So, let's see. I kind of have a place in mind. So I'm going to... Oh yeah, I had a creeper exploder here, by the way. I have a place in mind. So I think I'm going to, um... Go to the place, and also... Bet you haven't seen the bottom of a bed before. Or if you have, then... Well... Cool. <laughs> but anyway... The location is going to be out this way, away from the mountains. And I'm going to get to it, and then I will be back. So I'm in a clearing on Y level 70. And I just want to make a nether portal. And if you guys have not guessed quite yet what I'm going to build yet. Quite yet what I'm going to build yet. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, if you have not guessed quite yet, I would recommend doing like just go down in the comments actually I already put it in that video title so you'll know but I'm still gonna keep it a secret so let's take that dirt out and take that dirt out and then ooh 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 okay take it up and lighter and let me see five ninety six and I'm gonna take down these cores and get this portal hooked up. Okay I am up here, kind of extended out just a little bit, and that's awesome. And I'm going to go through the portal now, and I'm going to get all of my... See, you can see like the hub is literally right there. So I'm like really close to my house. And, ooh. And I'm going to grab some supplies, and then I'm going to head up and actually begin building it. When I tell you what I'm doing. So let me grab my, not, yeah, well let me grab some of my supplies, and I will be back. Oh, my voice, whoa, my voice went really high there. I will be back. Alright, everyone, as you can see, I am just filling in a floor right now, just like this. But, if you haven't guessed already, I am building a monster spawner by a guy named the Smoking Koala. That's why I have all the packed eyes and all that fun stuff. Link to his uh, tutorial will be in the description. And it is a very efficient. It says about 1,300 iron, no, iron, sorry, I bought iron farms, mob drops per hour, which is fantastic. That is a few double chests. So that is really cool. As of right now, I'm just making the collection system, which is going to run into a water stream and die. Well, it's into the water stream and be pushed down this, this a one by one hole. Well, not one by one, yeah. I don't know. I'd probably be two by two. And they'll fall and they'll die. But, that's cool. So, I'm going to give progress updates as I go. So, I will be back with another progress update once this is, once this is completed. So, the water's in place. So, now, let's... Just see. 
like this, and then all the water I blocked it off, and it'll come down, and then they'll drop, and it'll just go and fall like that. So that's cool, and I'm glad that that is finished. So now, I guess we get working on the mob spawn in itself. This took a lot longer than, it's, than I thought it would, too. So now I guess we work on the mob spawn in itself. And again, this is about a smoking koala, so let's get going. Alright, everyone, I have the spawning pads here done. I apologize for the rain. But, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. So now they will end up here at the end, be pushed off by dispensers, and they'll just go zzzz. A fall, and they'll fall down that hole right there. Or they will be pushed off the side and push in this water stream here, and push down that hole and fall. But either way, they will end up dying, basically, and that's all that's important. So why don't... See, just face it, yeah. So why don't I do some more work on this? And then I'll be back. That sounds fair to me. So I went ahead and finished the mob spawner. And I have some explaining to do on why there wasn't a cut. Because the last one, I believe, was me building the mob, the mob pad, the spawning pads with the pack dice. But, here it is. And it, and it works like a charm. And I've gotten this in here, which is pretty awesome. And this over here, I've only been standing here for about a half an hour. And all this. And the reason why I there wasn't a cut was because someone was mowing their lawn right outside. And it was very, very loud. So I decided that I just wouldn't cut. And I just crack on and ended up finishing it. It's actually the next day from when I finished this. So that's why there wasn't a cut, but it is pretty awesome, like they come down really quick. So I am going to give you an explanation now, because, you know, I didn't cut at all since the spawning pad. So why don't I kill these spiders, and then we'll head up, and we'll do an and I'll do an explanation. And I am going to figure something out with those spiders, and then witches also don't die, which I have an idea. I am going to do that later in this episode, though. So let me head up, you mistake. And let's see. Come on in. Bust that, bust that. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a flat water pad. I mean, well, flat spawning pad with the ice. And then here in just a moment, you see how water is now on the pads. You can barely see it. And all the mobs fall off, and then they fall down. They are attacking me right now. So, that, so they will go in, and then they fall down to their death. And see how they all spawned again? You can see how some of the creepers and stuff spawned skeleton and then the water and it pushes them all off so there's another demonstration like that and they just fall down which is pretty awesome so why don't we head around to the redstone and I'm going to show you how that works even though this is by the smoking koala and if you really want more in-depth description I would just recommend going to his video but here's how it works. There's a hopper timer by, you know, Ito. He, he made the hopper timer. Here, that's 20, 21 items in it. See, now the water, now we can watch. So it clicked once there, and then it just clicked again. So that's, that's how the water works. And the hopper timer, you know, moves over, and then it goes through these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 repeaters here, and then back up and around, and then clicks once, clicks twice, and knocks the water down, and then they fall down. It goes through here, oh, look, look, like that. So that's how that works. It's very cool and very simple and very compact. So the nice job smoking koala. And let's throw this down and come back down here. And it works very, very fast, uh, as you can see. The description is about a th 1,300 drops per hour, I think is what it was. But yeah, so that is cool. And I think now we're going to sort out the spiders and the witches. Yeah, I think yeah, I think now I'm gonna do that. I just wanted to show you this at this point now because you know I hadn't done a progress update in a while. So let's do that, and then I will actually probably meet up with you when I'm ready for it. So my idea for the spiders is we're gonna put signs like this. We cover every hopper. I hope I have enough. I 
like this. Is, is this? Yeah, I think so. And then I'm gonna take this glass. I'm gonna put lava there. Like that. And when the mobs fall, I wanna see. Yeah. Yeah, I have kind of like a. The ground's not quite lit up yet. So. Now I, sh now I should drop. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, whoa. There's a spider. They just faces fall and he burns. Yeah, yeah, they burn. So it isn't gonna work. I need to face me out with spiders then. Hmm. I don't want them to be able to burn is the problem. I mean, I want them to be able to die, but not climb the walls. Yeah, if it, they fell like this, then that'd be perfect. See about how that guy climbed the wall though. And then I have to kill him like that. Yeah, so I don't really know. It doesn't happen too often. But it's, it's happening now. And I just want to feign that from happening. So I think I'm going to go up and look at the top and see what I can do about it. So I think I'll meet you up there. So I'm up here about 25 blocks up and how I want to do this is I want to take signs that I left my I dropped my lava by accident. So I need to go get more of that. Which I will do. I, I forgot about that. But here, let me place these signs and I'll be back. With more lava. It's probably down there. Anyway, I'm, I'll get this done and I'll be back. So I fixed the spider problem, so look how this guy's climbing back up. Well, he's going to burn no matter what. Now, occasionally there, there will be mobs getting stuck in that lava, like, you know, swimming. But it is so, I mean, it, it happens, but this thing is so fast that it doesn't really matter too much. And, I mean, and that's, I think, of a better system. I mean, that's what I'm going to have to go with. I kind of wish that I could think of a better system, but, I mean... That's all. I don't know what else I could do. Or, I know, it's just kind of silence. But, hmm. Oh, now they're coming down. Or, I wonder if I could. Um. Let's, let me think. That wouldn't work. But I mean, I guess that's the system here. Let's head up and look. I saw that for all the signs, but I'm thinking. See how they sometimes get and they swim like that. 
Yeah. Let's see how fast it produces, though. Doesn't really matter too much. I don't think swimming about spiders would be this hard, actually. No, I'm just kind of talking. So I guess now I'm just kind of rambling about not being too much and all that stuff, so. As I've noticed, it's mostly zombies that get stuck. But they all okay. I'm going to uh, stop the recording. And I think we're going to head and do one more thing this episode because we went ahead and finished it. And there's a living creeper down here. Actually, mobs are living, so this is not going to work. Yeah, I guess this is not going to work because there are mobs. Too too many mobs living. Oh, I just looked at the Enderman. So, okay. Not, not going to work. Never mind. We're going to have to think of something else.